I'm on a mission to study every Formula One track in reverse to take my own driving and coaching skills to a new level and to provide the world a different insight into the tracks that we already know well. This was Spa and it was by far the most difficult track that I've had to learn for a while. There are so many little cambers and bumps in critical, crucial traction zones, for example in the chicane back there, and together with these cars being so stiff, it just provided for a really difficult time for me to get on the power. It also means that in the normal direction, these bumps are under braking and they're a little bit easier than when they're under traction. This is Puan, I absolutely love this corner, it was uphill, fully loaded and flat out, and I had to use all of my skills to get through this track as quickly as possible. A really nice fun right-hander here, and check this out, this is an absolute pain, this corner. So I did what's called a short corner here to get through here pretty okay, and trust me, I made that look so much more easier than it was, that corner's an absolute joke. So if you get a chance to drive this in reverse, it'll just take time for you to find a way through that corner. So there, there's a solution for you, you can try and take a short corner to get through. I misjudged uh, Orushi, you see I just missed the apex on the left there, that's because I can't see where I'm going either, so trust me, this track was so hard. Heavy braking into the final corner here, that's probably the most standard, but even this one, there's a nice bump on the exit to ruin your traction as well. So give it a go if you want to test yourself out, and let me know how you get on in the comments below.